What else is in there? It's time to look at this truck. It's Grace truck. It's in big power. It's big stuff. One. What's up everybody, it's Zach here with LS Blue and the next two weeks the videos, there's going to be a video series going on with the truck. I'm going to be polishing up my ZQ8 stock wheels. These wheels are already, the clear has already been stripped off of them, but we're going to sand these down and we're going to polish them up and make them look real good. They've got some curb rash, we're going to eliminate that and that's what we're doing today. So to get started, we're going to take this, the 400-600 wet or dry 400 grit and 600 grit wet or dry sandpaper and we're gonna scuff out we're gonna scuff out the um the curb rash and the pitting and then we're gonna go up to the 800 and 1000 wet or dry we're all we're doing this all by hand uh wet sanding do a little bit more fine sanding and then to finish it off make it real shiny the one the 1500 to 2000 grit wet or dry this is gonna be a, a first for me. I've never sanded wheels like this, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So if I mislead you, I'm sorry. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I'm a professional doofus, not a professional wheel polisher. So let's get started. This is the wheel that we're gonna be working with. It's got a lot of brake dust on it, so we're gonna wash that off. And it's got minimum pitting. So this is the only spot that I'm really gonna worry about got some dog pee on it so that will definitely have to be washed off because I don't want to touch that all right first I'm going to start with some 400 grit there's a spot right here that I'm going to try to get out I'll probably have to go over the whole thing because it's got these these very fine um, machining rooms in them. The spot used to be right here. It's pretty much gone. That didn't take very long, maybe five minutes. We're gonna go on, keep going. Done with the 400, now we're moving on to the 600 grit. All right, now we're done with the 600. I'm soaking wet, it's getting ready to storm. That's not stopping me. We're gonna move on to 800. Ah. We're now going to the 1,000 the thousand grit. I might do a little bit more finishing up with 800, then we're going to go on to the 1,000. So, this is fun. Now we're going to the 1,500 grit. It is raining, but I don't care. I'm already soaked. Like I said, it's starting to rain, but I don't care, I'm already soaking wet. We're gonna keep going, I'm almost done. I gotta do the 2000 grit. I'm gonna dry, spray the wheel off, and I'm gonna dry it off, and then I'm gonna try to polish a couple little spots. I'm probably not gonna get much polishing done in the rain, being it's wet, obviously, but it's turning out really good. It's real smooth already, and I've got all the little fine machine lines out of it, out of the spokes and out of the, the lip, and I'm, I'm happy with it so far for professional doofus here. So, let's keep going. I'm not going to do 
do a real thorough polish just yet because I don't know if it is going to work. We're going to try. We're going to try this spot here. Right here. Use this. Like I said, I am a professional doofus. Back up. This right here went from that to that. That is uh, quite the difference. I will finish this up when it is not raining and this will be instantaneous for you guys. Well, it's the second day I finished up this front wheel and it looks pretty damn good. I got a little bit here and there. It's because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Oh, dude. How you doing, dude? But I'm on to the second wheel. I had to go get more sandpaper. I wasn't anticipating having to have that much sand, sandpaper, but it's all right. All right, so this is day three. Three. And I have one wheel complete. And then the other wheel is about... It's finished sanded, completely sanded. It just needs to be polished. And we'll do a comparison for that. This is the completed project of the sanding. It doesn't look very good on camera, but it looks really good in person. It's really smooth. A little bit of curb rash is going. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I can't really get a lot of that out. But this is sanded and polished. I did a better job sanding on the rear wheel than I did the front. I was a little bit more thorough. So this is completely sanded. As good as I'm gonna get it. There's a little bit of rash here and there. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this wheel polished up real quick and see how it turns out. It should turn out really good. All right, I had to change shirts so I could polish that wheel. Didn't wanna get my nice white S10 Life shirt dirty. But this side is complete hand sanded, hand polished, no power tools involved. I spent, um, I think $30. Yeah, about $30 on the sandpaper and the little the little tool thing, whatever you wanna call it, the hand grip. And then I already had the polish, but, and I don't think that polish I was using is the best. So I'm gonna try on the other side to get a different type of polish to use and maybe get a better result and maybe use power tools over there. but. This is what we got. The tires need to be cleaned. I'm pretty pleased for some 26, 27 year old wheels that I got for $25. They have uh, really cleaned up. As compared to the other side. streaks out of the center caps when I polished them. Yeah, so they didn't take, I think a total of six, seven hours maybe tops. It was a kind of a lengthy process per wheel, but I learned a couple tricks as I went to the other wheel that I didn't do here. So the other side, should look even better than that one which looks even better than that one like i said these wheels are 25 dollars, so they're not perfect but that's going to be all for this episode thank you guys for watching make sure you drop a like drop a comment subscribe share and we'll see it